right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to this episode of uh, Lime Streams. Welcome. Uh, I see right now only four people joined. Um, well, some people like to be punctual and uh, precise in time and calm uh, just exactly in the, in the time when everything starts. Some people don't, which is okay, I think. So uh, we still we still will start. Uh, we see um, five people. Samit, Samit, hello, hello, hello to you. Uh, waiting for a couple, uh, pop, couple more people here to join uh, while we are um, setting things up. Um, I'm I'm not sure if I need to do this kind of like a countdown. Uh, a little bit earlier or like a overflow to the point uh, like start at 3 p.m. and after do countdown to other things um, so how's the how's the sound I can uh, can see on my side on my side uh, stream is uh, alive uh, everything goes smoothly testing some of the um, new new format right now so it's also 4k but uh, I'm testing if uh, YouTube will understand that I'm streaming into um, to Y1 um, resolution, so I'm just uh, checking things out and uh, and see uh, seven people. Wow, some some people are actually joining. I think uh, it makes sense to do um, a little bit of uh, social promo. So let me uh, tweet about this a uh, little quick. So um, and uh, we'll go on. Uh, on Twitter, so Duke. Hopefully, hopefully you will be able to see uh, to see my screen right now. So gonna gonna uh, do some uh, tweeting. Um, so what I like to do, I don't know if it's the right thing from per social per many perspective. Um, let me see if I do retweet uh, of my own tweet. Uh, uh, like let's use some emojis and we are live hey and uh, like I hit that uh, hit that uh, like button if you don't uh, if you didn't do this yet uh, okay and we're live a hashtag live streams um, yeah, let's uh, let's tweet tweet this away. All right. Okay. Okay. So nice. Okay. Uh, Neil. Uh, Neil from Minnesota. Eman. Uh, welcome. <laughs> uh, Neil Busey, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah. So just like type down into um, into the comments here in the comment section where we're from. Uh, what are you up to? Uh, what are you doing these days in terms of like uh, time? Um, also, another question to you folks. Um, when I was um, like thinking thinking about time, uh, is it all right time for everyone to join live streams? Because for me, I was thinking about this like maybe it's a very early in the morning to do this, uh, or maybe it's uh, just like time wise, it is not. Uh, maybe lunchtime so I don't know like which uh, which one you prefer better uh, for me it's perfect time so I can start and uh, work up on some um, emails and uh, work on some uh, some work related stuff do some prep for um, for this uh, meetup for this live event and uh, uh, after that I will have a time to chat with you for like hour uh, hour and a half ish um, for, so uh, let me know in uh, in the comments. Um, another thing that I want to ask everyone, like if you um, not subscriber, if you join me, just like uh, uh, please subscribe to the channel. It will help me uh, just to from perspective of promoting the right material um, and uh, making more uh, things that would be relevant to the uh, to the people to the audience. Um, another thing, if you will go and check out my previous videos, I would really appreciate if you go and comment there something. Um, it can be something useful, <laughs> something that I can use uh, to work on uh, new shows, or it can be something like hi. So it also helps from perspective. Um, 
So, yeah, the I guess uh, uh, it is the right channel where the Spice X will start. The Spice X will start right after my stream. So, uh, you have a time to hang out in the live stream with me. Uh, and after that, uh, you will be, you know, at home uh, by the uh, SpiceX launch. All right, so, hi, Barb. You are in, uh, you are streaming as well. Okay, all right, so, uh, Alexander, welcome. Uh, to, to our, we, now we started getting some regulars, and, uh, okay, so regulars, hit that uh, like button. All right, so what, uh, what we're gonna be talking today? Um, uh, we're going to be talking about, um, we'll continue talking about testing. So, um, again, for those of you who joined us first time, um, this is this is basically my way, how I, <laughs> uh, preparing for my presentation that didn't happen. Like, again, we're supposed to be talking about the testing thoroughly uh, at the Kafka Summit uh, London. Kafka Summit London didn't happen, and I didn't have a like a proper motivation to work on new talk because you know I didn't speak, um, I didn't plan to do this talk anywhere else except um, except Kafka Summit London. But uh, um, I decided, okay, so yeah, we, I need to work on this one, and um, um, this is this is my way how I'm doing things. So the on the previous episodes, and like if you're watching this in recording, you will be seeing. I guess over here, you will be seeing some of the links to the previous episodes. We talk about how to test in Kafka, um, basic APIs, producer consumer, how to test things uh, using Kafka streams, using topology, test driver, test containers. I think it's the last thing, more or less, um, is how to test the key SQL. Uh, it's also um, some of the aspects can be reused. Um, and I guess this is kind of like more and more advanced. But the cool thing about this, that KSQL actually comes with uh, certain uh, capabilities that allow you to uh, very, very, um, very, very nicely uh, test in uh, um, and t test this stuff. So um, a few more housekeeping items. Keep uh, sending us uh, like buttons. Um, if you have a question, that I you want me to answer? Start with this, um, like uh, like like with Q, like this one, like hey, like uh, I don't know, like what did you have for for um, breakfast? Something like this. Um, this is how the the question would look like, and this is how I will bring this to um, to the screen, so other people will see it as well. So um, I would love to um, have this uh, kind of like. So also, it will help me to scan uh, scan the chat and find the questions. Not like we have a lot of uh, questions that are going on in the chat, but still, um, let's let's do it. Okay. All right, uh, welcome, uh, welcome to San Francisco. Why San Francisco? I don't know. Today is the day that my um, dynamic wallpaper would like to show me some of these, um, some of the San Francisco thing. So I want to start again. Um, I don't want to sound like a the Bernie Sanders from the uh, internet memes. I want to start for asking for your help again. But uh, today I'm gonna be starting with the one thing that I was working on. And specifically, I was working on one of the Kafka tutorials. And uh, specifically, I was working on the Kafka tutorial that uh, was um, the very common topic. Some uh, A lot of people were asking about this, like uh, how to do this. And this is very useful and very popular tutorial. So one of the things I decided to add to this tutorial is to make it like more, uh, more modern and up to point with, um, uh, you know, the modern serialization format. For some reasons, a lot of people were complaining about Avro, saying that, oh, it's, uh, it's just so much too Hadoopish and too old. So yeah, I was thinking, okay, let me uh, actually come up with a let me actually come up with a different uh, this realization format. So um, in this case, um, the schema registry uh, recently uh, started supporting uh, 
huh, for some reasons, uh, and no one told me that, for some reasons, um, the, the live stream now goes into HD. So let me uh, quickly validate this. Um, I was wondering if we can get a like a maximum quality and uh, apparently something it was um, something happened so let me check this real quick if because um, on my side oh snap um, let me try to restart this real quick if I can do this Power stream. Seven twenty p. Yeah, that's uh, that's ridiculous. This is not acceptable. Um, this is not acceptable. I'm wondering if I will be able to um, to pause this and uh, try to um, resubmit or. Also, let me know if you look into this one and the quality wise, everything is good um, and no one is suffering from 720p. That I was under impression that was supposed to be go on. Um, supposed to be going on the, the 4K, but uh, something didn't work out. Um, yeah, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing, but uh, um, I don't want to. I don't want to restart this um, because I'm not sure if um, this app will actually start new stream or will continue the old one. Um, so yeah, let me know if you um, having troubles to seeing this again. Um, <laughs> it's a, everything. Um, any, anything can happen. Uh, oh, okay. Let me see if I will be able to to switch no yeah exactly so um so next thing next time i want to i want to try something else and like totally get rid of the software piece of this uh, stream uh, stream thingy um the when the software comes into play, you know, let's talk about this, right? Uh, when the software comes into play, it's always uh, the problems. The hardware solution is uh, is is the key. So I wanna I wanna do a quick uh, sneak peek for the things that I work on. Is to actually have um, this uh, this my uh, behind the scene camera. I want to show you something that I'm actually working on um, streaming from this device, from this small device. Right now, it's just switching my cameras, but um, I'm going forward. Um, we'll be streaming from this, and we'll get a nice and crisp uh, HD. So something something didn't work out. It it, it happens. It happens with uh, happens with best of us. Anyway, so let's get back to uh, to the point of the stream. So, um, so why I'm doing this? Uh, why I'm doing this again? So it's a fairly simple um, uh, to code a tutorial. Uh, very simple to explain what is going on there. So and uh, it's very simple to demonstrate. So literally, I was uh, recording a um, kind of like a walkthrough video for this tutorial. Stay tuned for for this video would be released in the uh, next uh, few days. Um, the the um, The, the thing with this, um, it's just like two minutes of total walkthrough. So if you, any tutorial that you uh, will be seeing on this website is like this. Um, so let's go to create this directory. A couple things that you might notice, just to copy pasting stuff for now. Um, and to run this, um, you docker compose yaml um, hit like if you know how to exit from um, from vim with shortcut docker compose up the um, this command will start uh, docker compose will bring you some uh, some new stuff if uh, this stuff was not available for some reasons it was not there um, and um, docker compose ps 
um, it's up and running. So we do have our stack. So everything is, is, is up and running. Now, the next thing is that uh, we're going to be doing the KSQL DB stuff. So if you're not familiar with KSQL DB before, um, I really, really recommend you to KSQL DB dot um, io. There's a nice website where you can learn some stuff. Um, and again, the colleague of mine, Rob Moffat, uh, he's doing a lot of videos with Connect, with KSQL. Uh, one of these is a recent blog post. Uh, I don't know if you have a chance to read it. It's to um, how to build uh, the Telegram boat. Telegram is amazing, uh, the instant messenger. And uh, the it allows, there's some, some nice API that you are um, able to, to interact with. So, um, and uh, this is where you can start with everything. You can learn some basics. Um, I, assume, I assume, not assume. So let me know if you would be interested to do just like a one-on-one -on -one type of video of this one, um, but after. So looks like uh, something went wrong because the server didn't start in time. This happens, uh, let's see. So I am running a uh, KSQL DB server uh, 081, which is part of Confluent Platform 5.5. If you wanna use the fresh meat, you just go here and get the stuff there. So um, that's um, it's gonna be a cool thing to, to have. Okay, um, the next thing is that let's uh, type some of the comments into our thing. So the task is to have a one stream where we populate in with data in one format. And after that, we'll have another, um, the output of this data would be transformed. So in this particular case, I start with uh, movies that encoded with Avro format. So Avro provides a schema. And uh, based on this query, when I do create this stream, I key SQL DB will infer this schema. And after that, uh, place the schema in scheme registry. So when I created this, I can do show streams. And in this case, it's uh, my movies in our format. So once I will producing this one, uh, say there's a, some, some test data. Um, some people saying that KSQL DB or <laughs> Kafka is not a real database. Hey, we have insert into, so in this case, it sounds like a real database, right? All right. So um, I just uh, did the insert into the stream. So if I'll do print um, uh, movies Avro uh, capital. Show topics uh, Avro movies. Okay, C for consistency. Where is it? Uh, let me bring this. See for consistency. This is this is proper use of comments in uh, in a YouTube chat. So um, this is uh, this this was handy, All right? All right. So uh, I know what's happened. I know what's happened because I changed the configuration right before um, right before stream. Now, anyway, so uh, print a Avro Okay, um, doesn't work simply because we're starting from uh, not from the beginning. So in this case, we need to do set um, the where's the where's the command? Yes, yeah, set out of set reset, true. So this will allow me to read this topic from very beginning. Or I think I can do from beginning, something like this, yeah. So I can use either uh, of set reset or I can do either read from beginning. So value format Avro. So KSQL DB knows how to get, uh, how to get this stuff and now, so next thing is that we need to um, transform it into something else. And uh, the protobuf is cool, you know? The, the, the protobuf is uh, people who are asking, hey, people, now you have it. So protobuf. 
Um, the it's it's supported natively, so you don't need to do anything just apart from the being connected to the right version of uh, Scheme Registry. So if I go here, so uh, one of the things that you probably can see here, the value format now is prod above. If with this value format, and what I'm doing, I'm actually selecting everything from input stream as is, right? So I create new stream, movies proto, it creates a topic uh, proto movies, um, and uh, with select movie ID as a key, title, and release here, and this is it. So now uh, I have uh, two streams here. So one is stream, um, it has a movies in Avro, another stream is moving port above. Um, and this is how this like constantly will be reading. So if I'll do print um, proto uh, movies uh, from beginning, uh, of course the Proto movies from beginning. Now I am have this stuff in uh, in Avro format and in the protocol format. So if I will do say, if I will open another window, um, if I open another window with this uh, uh, KSQL DB CLI, and if I will go ahead and say produce. Oh, no, let's do this one. Because if I'll do select uh, movie, uh, movie ID, um, title and release year, title, release year, um, from the, we're talking about stream now when we do select movies proto. <clears throat> Uh, um, emit changes. So if I want to have a continuous query, this is what I get. And also, uh, if I will do something like insert, um, say again, um, it also added here. So it constantly will update and change the format in Avro, in a proto format. And the cool thing about this, like you can start using in your applications that already know about. Uh, uh, protobuf, so they can simply can just connect to this topic and read this data in the protobuf format. Actually, um, remind me, write me in the comments if you like to see uh, some of the tutorials how we can do this in like in Java, for example. Now, this is a this is a very simple use case, and now I um, now I can exit this one, and I can close this window. Use case is simple. We have something on input and we have something on output. So how we can be um, how we can test this one? So um, this is our result. This is our application. This is our um, this is our the streaming application. Uh, we go in in uh, where's my sublime text. No way. I don't see it. Here we go. Uh, presentation abstracts, wrong one. Uh, this one, right? Do them. So we have a SRC, and if I'll do just a new file, I call it state.sql. This is our application. So this is what we're going to be uh, doing this. So I'm saving this. This is what we will have in, in our application. Now, so the cool thing for KSQL DB, KSQL DB comes with, uh, let me see if there's a documentation on this. Uh, developer guide, maybe? Testing in debugging. Test harness. So there's a cool thing called uh, KSQL DB test runner. So test runner uh, essentially does a similar thing that um, the Polish test driver does. 
Um, the Polish test driver does things like the testing things uh, without bringing Kafka and so far and so on. See if you have a like a little bit uh, behind the scene view, just uh, play around with this. And uh, the this guy topology uh, the, the KSQL test runner is a the thing that we're going to be using right now. All right, so um, the way how it works, it's actually uh, very interesting. Um, the way how it works, uh, we go into our um, create file, call it input input JSON. So this is a thing that we did with insert. This is what we insert it in our. Um, This is what we inserted in our um, stream. So as you can see here, the format of this uh, actually very well described here. So there is a input file that has inputs, uh, important bits here, topic name. Um, if you want to test like some of the, you know, time sensitive things, this is how you can put the timestamp, uh, key, uh, some other things that are important for uh, for for this particular test, and value will include actual um, actual data. So in this particular case, key one, title. This is this is going to be our value that go that will go inside this one. And in order to validate this, uh, usually we have a input and the expected output. This is what we need to have. And uh, the, the output file is also fairly um, simple to to work with. This is what uh, what we're going to be doing. And I'll go uh, new file uh, output JSON. Um, just copy. Uh, and again, uh, this is very useful. I'm going to be using this uh, very often today to see for consistency. Uh, it, it's our motto. I think we need to have um, uh, T-shirts about this. So the the file called output. JSON, but the <laughs> keyword is outputs. So, so true, so true, and I can uh, stop. Uh, I can't stop using this one. Now, where you can get this? So, KSQL DB um, comes with this tool. So, if you run this inside the Docker and the CLI uh, runs also inside the Docker, then um, this thing is also available in in Docker. So, this is how I would run this. Um, Essentially, inside my image, let me show you the first um, uh, decompose ps. Um, this is this is where I'm running server. This is where I'm running broker. This is where I'm running zookeeper for now and scheme registry. So the KSQL server again, it not it doesn't run inside inside Kafka. So I just want to make sure that everyone's clear on this. And um, essentially, what I can do, uh, Docker Compose down, um, on SV, just that in case it will kill everything. So I want to show you that I'm actually not using Kafka here. So I want to run only one particular image. Um, if uh, someone remembers how I can run this, um, one particular image, uh, one particular container from Docker Compose, uh, right in the comments uh, right now. So I would not uh, Google it. But I think if I do Docker Compose up, um, Docker Compose run a named container. Uh, Docker Compose run. Can I specify uh, just particular name? Yeah, run. So if I will do Docker Compose, not run, but up. Uh, Docker Compose up. Yeah, so I, I'll do Docker Compose up, key, uh, SQL, SQL, DB, 
CLI. Nah. I don't think I did this right thing. Why it is uh, it, it just created, but it not necessarily will start this. So let me see if I um, come on. Why it is taking some time? Maybe it takes some time to, to start this because ah uh, okay. I think I know what's the problem. So when I do here, looking Docker Compose, and I'm looking to CLI, it would say depends on. So why why it was done this way, Docker. Docker compose compose down uh, minus v so we will kill everything. It's just done in order to um, I'll, I'll, yeah. So essentially, the Kafka tutorials are designed to be you know self-tested piece of software. This uh, piece of software is a will be executed like as a text. And as a actual code will be executed during like CI/CD um, uh, type of thing, and uh, in order to run all these like CLI commands, we also need to wait until everything will be all running. But for this particular exercise that I'm trying to do, I don't need to wait for the broker. So I just like wanna disable it for now. So if I will do docker compose APS, everything's done. So if I'll do now CLI will start as a its own um, its own container. So in this case, uh, it's it's super cool. What's the name? Am I using right service name? KSQL DB CLI. Yeah, that should be Docker Compose down. Uh, let me see. Uh, Docker. Maybe my alias cannot pass correct. Attaching, attaching, and now what? So I do I need to start as a new one when it's attaching? Docker Compose on. Uh, um, okay, so if I will do minus D, it should also do the thing. Uh, Docker Compose up minus D. Okay. And now I should be able to run this command, okay. And so the way how it will work, I map my input and output into this um, into this container, and after that, now I'm running this uh, this command here. So test runner uh, will execute the input JSON, provides the output, um, and uh, my application will go as a statement. So let's see if um, everything will. Work. So when the test was passed, we just get this result and like everything is cool. Um, if we will, let's make a, let's make it, uh, let's make it funny. Let's do okay for some reasons. Uh, Die Hard was released in '99. Okay, and uh, uh, some stupid uh, error that uh, will bring some some errors here. Okay, so it will uh, explain uh, me with this error that something was expected, something was not expected. So in this particular case, expected that uh, release here 88, but it was 89. So 88, we're getting back. So this is pretty much it. So this is how you test your um, this is how you test your KSQL DB um, KSQL DB applications. Thank you so much for being with me. It was live stream? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, 
the uh, yeah no I mean it's 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 a it's a basically reduces time a lot of time um, when you do something with Kisikl DB. I do have a tutorial that does the same thing with um, if we will look into uh, snap I I um, I disable it. Okay, so it's do cnfl io slash tutorials, um, and I'll do serialization, and I'll do Kafka Streams version. So I didn't merge this yet, but uh, it will be the Kafka Streams version is much longer. Kafka Streams version has everything, you know, the the setups, and this is actually where is it? This is this is actual work. So essentially the work that needs to be done is just the two lines, okay? So this is basically my application code. Um, and the rest of it is just a prep. So the, the, the KSQL already gives this like out of the box. So uh, what we can do, couple interesting things. Now, can we bring uh, what I was showing, like uh, I was showing this, uh, this uh, this guy. I was actually showing this guy, and so much stuff is going on here. Specifically, there's only place where this stuff is going on is over here. the The thing that happens with uh, with uh, Java, with KSQL DB, everything is much 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 easier. So that's why his testing is much much easier. Now, um, to our previous point, to the point where we were talking about. Um, the last time, no, not last time, like the previous, uh, the previous stream, we were talking about testing Kafka streams, and sometimes, um, the, the, thank you to thanks to Ivan and his project. He he pointed out that sometimes the Polish test driver shows some misleading results, and uh, we cannot fully make sure that our code is 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 correct. It just fully only using this um, this like unit test type of approach. So, and this is where test containers comes into play, right? So, the let's uh, let's try to mix of uh, of best of the world. So, um, KSQL DB KSQL DB actually has a rest endpoint where. I can submit a the my queries. So if I post the key SQL, let's uh, let's actually find this. Um, this is how we develop how to guide. I was wondering if there's a REST a REST API endpoint. Yep. So what we want to do, we want to Okay, let me switch here. So um, the REST API endpoint, why it is important and why we need this. Um, in my Kafka tutorial, I do have final step where we can actually submit this into production. This is your, you know, the CICD step, uh, step through in this tutorial. And this is how you would submit this into, into production. Now, what about we will use same approach but implement this with test containers so we will take this um, we'll see how we can submit this to different api endpoints and um, after that uh, we'll see if we will be able to get something meaningful here so i'm submitting query KSQL. What's the difference between query and KSQL? Rule run a statement, run a query. So when we create a, we do like create stream, it's a, you know, statement, right? And the query might be um, like select or things like that. So I think we're going to be uh, submitting to... Hmm. 
we submitting to submitting statement to KSQL endpoint, and uh, we'll see if we will be able to do that. How we can test um, list streams? Okay, so we submit to um, KSQL endpoint, and after that we can get a list of streams. Um, let me um, let me bring this back just in case um, I want to let's 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 try again. So if I will do KSQL server exposes, um, so we can do that. Okay, so um, boom. Uh, Docker compose up uh, in uh, detach mode. Detach mode for for many years, days, months, weeks. I thought it is a minus D. It's actually um, daemon. Uh, so it's not the detach, but daemon mode. All right. So. Get a full screen. So um, let's see. What it is doing. Oops, pipe. Um, we we'll make it in one line and pipe the result to set. Okay, let's see. I guess remove some of the uh, nicely pre pretty formatting uh, things, and after that um, we will send this to this endpoint. Okay, let's see. And at the end we have a GQ that will uh, nicely format a, a response for us. So first one, we executed first one query, we get the result. Now, let's see if I'll do just this one, content type, uh, data comes from, um, just copy from here. So, and as a result, we get a we get a list of streams. We have a uh, two streams, and we have a JSON that have a uh, streams and number of streams. Okay, let's um, let's bring the heavy uh, heavy guns. Okay, so I do have a uh, I did some test containers experiments, and I do have one uh, KSQL container that I have here. Let's see if it works. And again, this is one of the cool things with the um, with test containers that even though I already have uh, my stack is up and running, I don't need to worry about the port conflicts and things like that, right? It will just start things that I need is just like just eating resources, but um, I'm wondering if it will not affect uh, my stream. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Executing, outputting something. Uh, why this one is not it's supposed to be ignored, but we'll see if it fails, it fails. All right, so uh, two tests that should run with Kafka up and running. It everything is all right. Now the so what we what we want to do. Want to try to submit this. So in this case, uh, we're going to be using um, to just copy it here. Just 
let's see. Um, since it started, I, I think, let me actually move it here. So if I will do, say, private, private, static, static. No, I think I need to kill um, this stack. So in this case, I'll do docker compose down minus cd. Uh, you probably don't hear it, but uh, my um, my computer fans are spinning pretty uh, pretty fast. Uh, okay, I'll kill this one. Private uh, static, and uh, we'll do um, key SQL container, key SQL server container. It requires me to also some eh, refactoring. Technical debt. Technical debt. Um, we'll do key SQL. Container new uh, key SQL container and this version is going to be also five five. Five five zero. Um, in this case, we'll do um, the key SQL server. Oops, key SQL server. Uh, with uh, with Kafka, do Kafka this one, and I will uh, also will need scheme registry as well. So in this case, how I did this with scheme registry with Kafka, okay, fairly, fairly, uh, fairly straightforward. A with Kafka. Doing this with um, scheme registry, scheme registry, and after that, start. Um, this is where we're going to be starting. Um, We'll see if we if we will have some errors. We can we can uh, uh, we can so in this case log consumer of Kafka just it's fine. Uh, Kit SQL server, it's okay. So now here uh, ignore so we can miss that. Now we have our Kit SQL server. Now first thing is that we need to have request to where we did this um, key SQL so do key SQL uh, build execute now surround the try catch Now, so we do what we're doing here. It is definitely not get um, request. We're doing a post request body. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we are using uh, OKHTP, OK HTTP, OK three. Let's see uh, how the people are doing this. Uh, okay, API, API, API. Uh, HTTPS connections, caches. Where's the requests? Um, so what we're looking for here, uh, post request. Um, request builder. 
a request build a request dot builder. Okay. We do okay HTTP and we do request request dot builder. Um, we get method post. Okay, method post getting request body. We know this. Is there any like a builder for that? Um, if you, um, if I do have uh, any experts in uh, uh, all HTTP in this chat, write me down. Request body. I'm wondering if there is any. I think this will do. Content type, uh, content, and content type is string. Perfect. So let's do this. Uh, we we'll do a request a request body dot create. So um, content type. We know this exactly. Uh, content type is application. Blah blah blah. V one. This one and I'm what string media type, okay. So, first one is actually string media type. Media type and string. Media type. Okay. Media type. Uh, parse. Uh, our type. Okay. Now. Next one is media type type. Okay. And second thing is our string that will represent our uh, KSQL query. So in this particular case, this is going to be something like this. String uh, statement statement equals. Let's start with one. Okay, so in this case, let's have a uh, just one line. So in this case, we will do uh, this one first. Uh, it's one small steps, small steps, small steps. Uh, all right, looks good. Statement type and statement. Uh, request body creates what it says. Now it says it's uh, deprecated. Oh, okay. So what it says? Um, let's see. Download sources. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the beautiful world of uh, the libraries who create APIs uh, using uh, using Kotlin first. Um, let's see if we will be able to see if we have anything exciting here. Um, Decompile to Java. Ooh, interesting. Well, that's crazy. Uh, it's deprecated, but not not delete it, so. Um, move it to extension function, put the context argument, put, uh, what? Anyway, so let, let's try this one. So uh, we'll fix deprecation after. It's a, it's a hacking section. So I'll do post a body, Yeah. 
and uh, results gonna be built. Okay. So in the response, so uh, we're expecting this not gonna be null. And let me see how I can do this here. Uh, okay, so we use this object mapper and we are uh, a mapper, how we can instantiate this? Read three from string, okay. And we're doing this and mapper dot read three from string. Um, so first of all, let's take a look what do we have here. Um, I put the uh, debug and if I will, can I debug this test? Again, so we will, so what we're trying to do for those of us, Java expected, I missed something and it is true. I did miss it. Um, if you join us or <laughs> for some reasons, people actually leaving, um, I guess some other important stuff to attend. A, um, a, stop, 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 stop. That was the wrong one. Um, wrong button to press. Uh, debug test. Um, again, what we're trying to do, we're trying to start a KSQL DB container um, using test containers and um, submit the query and see if we get some results. So we will be able to submit our application. Once we will be able to submit this application, if we'll have a time, um, we also will read in input and, you know, so submit data to input and provide and read data from output. So we'll see, um, we'll see how it goes. Or at least like if we will figure out, if I will figure out the way, um, I will continue and we'll put this code into my. All right, so, okay. So let's see, we do have uh, some results here. Unrecognized token create was expecting JSON string number array uh, as a source jersey. I think, um, I think uh, it is not the exact query that this guy is expecting. So let's see. Let's see, let's check the documentation for this. Uh, 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 uh. The, when we're submitting this to KSQL endpoint, we are, where's the example of this query? So this is a, then um, create stream. Okay, as a case sequel. What we're doing here? Post to case sequel, content type, and body. What is wrong with the our, our response? Statement and response. Bad request. So I mean definitely we are submitting something wrong. Um, I think maybe it needs to be kind of like wrapped maybe in something like uh, better used for test yes um, there is a for test use rest assured yeah this is something that I might explore uh, for uh, for the next videos but right now like whatever I have I, I'll just try this one thanks for uh, thanks for this advice though um so um so echo okay so i'm doing it wrong so i need the body would look like this so key sequel and okay so this is the missing missing part missing um missing bit so uh let's stop this one so we have a statement 
<sighs> and the string aster string uh, not it's a different string it's gonna be um, request request JSON and it's gonna be something like this so this is where our statement should go right so this is where we do our Okay, so we are doing something like this. Uh, object mapper, mapper. The uh, new object mapper. Um, just, um, and I'll do mapper I think I'm doing this wrong uh, I forgot what's the API we need to use for um, Jackson Jason uh, create object uh, oh, okay. This is a handy tutorial. So what we are doing here, object mapper, object mapper. Um, I need to know it's something wrong. How to serialize your object. Create objects using Jackson in Java. Object mapper, mapper create object node. Seems legit, right? Um, I remember my anecdote from um, uh, from the previous episode. Uh, so new object mapper um, or uh, only this only mapper one mapper create object node how does this look like um, it's a JSON node we do put okay put field name uh, ksql and the uh, statement okay it's good and after that we do um, put and uh, streams properties and it's gonna be empty new uh, json how we can do empty um is there any a empty 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 node or something like that like um I will see. JSON node. It's gonna be big, but um, the where is it? Uh, find usages. And no, I wanna go go to go to uh, implementations. Just one. Nah, that can be. Uh, 
Okay, so um, again, Google Jackson um, JSON emp, empty object instead of null. Yeah, so in this case, blah blah blah. No, 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 this is not what I want. Right value is a string now. A uh, bim 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 bim. This is not what I want. Oh, that's that's Java. This is what <laughs> this is what Neil suggests. Okay. Nice. Okay. So we do JSON JSON node factory. I was I was thinking about something. No JSON node factory. Uh, JSON not factory instance object node. Okay. Nice. Okay. I would be very surprised if this will work, but hey. Um, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It's great to have you folks here. Remember, um, you're helping me a lot. Um, is deprecated uh, method will set set specific field replacing old value if any okay that's fine that's okay um i can leave with this one now the uh now it's not a statement it's gonna be mapper uh as a write as value of string how we can get now now i need to have a string like this and and in this case I do or JSON node I don't, I don't think I'm doing something right here. Uh, uh, uh. I'm wondering if two string would be just enough. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if this will work. Uh, okay, so let's run this again. Debug. Let's run this again. Clearly, I have no idea what I'm doing, but hey, it was just a crazy idea that came to my mind. Um, if I can, you know, use uh, test containers here instead of uh, mapper read three. Oh, it's also it's also another option. Um, it's also a pretty good option. I hope. Um, We'll see. Why it is running my ignored test? Stop. 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 Debug. The KSQL test runner executes much faster. Waiting, 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 waiting. Yeah, another, um, another, while it's building, another reason why I wanna offload the streaming to extra, like, separate hardware rather than doing from the laptop. When I do streaming from laptop, like my, if I do live coding and this type of things, that's, um, yeah, so I think, so what happens is, uh, it was not the, exactly what we sent. So we sent some of the to string, but it's not, it's not doing, um, it's not doing right thing. 
All right, googling the uh, Jason Mapper Jackson a uh, just a print print Jason. Let's see. Right value string. Yeah, that's all right. That's uh, that's the right thing to do. But this is what I did. Node to pretty to pretty string. Uh, if I would do, I don't need pretty string, but I will take this. So in this case, I'll do uh, JSON node uh, to as text. Should work. Uh, I I don't I don't think the pretty string though will work um, because uh, we're trying to put this in a kind of one line request. I don't know. We'll we'll uh, we'll just see in a few more seconds. Just um, just uh, it's a cute avatar, by the way. It is a um, I don't know the free BSD uh, free BSD logo. Um, I don't see I don't I don't see FreeBSD uh, often these days, but uh, it's a still cute uh, it's cute avatar. <sighs> yeah, Josh Long once refactored my code when it was in. Uh, in uh, spring, uh, in a spring, what was the uh, what was the event? Spring, 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 spring IO. Yeah, that was fun. All right, so we have a null pointer exception here. Why is that? So where is it? Uh, the create JSON node as a as a tag. Why it is a? Why it is? Why are you the way you are? Right, so uh, seriously, though, I cannot create JSON just out of the box. Uh, how does stuff look like? Uh, to, to do to do. Jackson JSON. Just go into to their website. I think I'm doing something wrong. A uh, na, 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 na. where's the documentation? Documentation, 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 documentation. <sighs> data bind data bind uh, Jason uh, Jason documentation uh, it's not streaming I need to have data binder so in this case it's gonna be a mapper right data bind uh, project docs and mapper and where's the methods it's pretty shitty documentation if you ask me um, maybe I'm uh, looking into different places but like Yeah, just um, this is why the the Google is like your your um, JSON create JSON object. Let's see. Um, just uh, just uh, just the text read. I, I 
how we can create this. Um, I think JSON with JSON dynamic. Okay, dynamic JSON object. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's a. Uh, it's exactly what we want. Uh, no, it value. We don't need this. We. I don't want this. I want to create this file. I want to create a like. Where's the how to do JSON data model? <sighs> how to create JSON array? JSON mapper create object node. Yes, we did this. Right with default pretty printer. Yeah, th this is exactly what we did. Right. Um, create node object. They did this stuff. Um, <laughs> no thanks. Object mapper, create object node. Let's see. Write value as a string. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Maybe I'm, maybe this stuff is not the right thing to do. The uh, we have a here JSON node. Maybe it's as text not working. So in this case, we can do mapper um, write value as string, and in this case, I'll do JSON node like this. And it's hard to say why it is complaining. Add exception to meta signature. Um, let's do it. Add exception to meta signature. JSON processing exception. Okay, let's see. All right, all right. So as as you understand the. While it's building, I'll, I want to talk to you guys. So why, why <laughs> the the first part was easy, and like right now, I'm just uh, we're just goofing around to see if we can make this work. Um, not sure if, if it's practical to do things that I'm doing right now. Um, the things that if if people actually um, doing this type of stuff, but hey. Hopefully this is uh, something you know, kind of watch and learn type of session, right? So if it's a, uh, if we learn something, nice. Okay, we get something. We're getting something interesting. So um, type. It's just a standard error. It's a, oh, it's interesting. It's actually error comes from a. From K SQL, so um, I think we got, we got we got something here. So the way how the request looks like, the post body, how the body look like. Um, this is our content type. Looks good. Byte count. Why it is a uh, this request body? Why it's so small? Maybe it's a uh, serialized the, the two bytes. Um, okay. Get back to walk with HTTP. Um, media type and string. Returns new. Okay. When nothing helps, we see JSON not is null. Why it's null? Um, so it's after execute. So let's let's see if I will put this. Let's see what we have before we submit this request. Maybe I'm submitting something 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 wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm submitting something wrong. All right. 
right, so let's see. I think we're getting close somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Uh, I'm wondering if this um, the test container finally will get this um, like a fast start type of thing when the you know the, the containers will not take uh, the couple minutes to start. Um, all right, so let's see where we are at this one. So we are creating this JSON node, create object, which is null. Why? Why is that? Uh, let's uh, let's consult with our um, create object node. Create object node. Object node. A JSON node. Maybe I'm using the wrong API. So let's let's do um, um, let's do the way uh, how these people saying uh, create object node. Uh, we'll say extract a variable um, object node. We do put, and after that we'll do object node. <clears throat> object node. Why it says deprecated? Uh, so use either string JSON node or string JSON node. Put JSON node value. Uh, JSON node. JSON node fact. Uh, can we do um, like a object node? I'm confused. The looking to this one. And um, yeah, let's try. Let's try. What's the uh, Al uh, Alex recommends? Just do mapper uh, read three. Yeah, that might work. And Jason, no. Uh, in this case, we should should not be uh, deprecated. What is that? Because it returns what? Read 3 returns this one I'm talking about. The When I stream, it's almost impossible to show some code. Jason, no. Why are you complaining now? Uh, put use set. Okay, set. That should do, right? All right. Um, next thing that we do is to our, we do our object node. Seriously, how difficult is this just to create some JSON in Java? Oof. Oof, we're we talking about some Kafka. Ugh. Also, a reminder, you just like to keep practicing. So you just uh, <laughs> copy pasting code. Um, it is uh, it is not uh, coding. La, 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 la. So 
So let's see. Now, now, now this, we're getting somewhere, now we're getting somewhere, it looks, it looks case sequel, streams properties, okay, cool, now, let's do, um, step over, boom, boom, and another one. So response, so this is where we're calling this, step over, and we're calling this, and uh, are we getting somewhere? Bring sectors. <laughs> So, time out. Okay. Uh, I guess uh, I guess this is where I will uh, leave you because um, it's no time for uh, for timeouts. But um, I will investigate and I will just publish code uh, right after. Um, it's interesting. So the idea was again. Um, let me remind you what we did this. So. The testing is pretty simple. Just go and use a um, case SQL test runner. This guy, where is it? Uh, a testing tool. The test harness, uh, uh, case SQL test runner. Um, input JSON, out JSON, and you will be good to go. What I was trying to do um, and almost got to the point <laughs> where it uh, where it worked. Um, I was trying to use a just to submit the query to G, to to KSQL container. Um, we'll run some of the results that my 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 uh, streams were created there, and after that, uh, just use the producer consumer to write data in and read data out. So that was a that was the goal. Um, so I think that where I will leave you today. Um, thank you so much for being part of um, live streams. Do not forget to um, to subscribe me in YouTube and Twitter and uh, things like that if you find this useful or at least entertaining. Um, I'll probably, I will continue to do this. I will continue to do this in, um, um, you know, learning something, hacking something, show you something. Um, maybe I will take a maybe one week uh off uh, maybe next week or maybe not maybe uh maybe we'll uh, we'll continue to to do something uh together again thanks so much for being with me if you're still here just like wave me in the chat do not forget to subscribe to the channel do not forget to write a comment uh, i would really appreciate this and as always have a nice day thank you so much